Let's see. Let me read these deals. 1755, Lisbon earthquake with the tsunami. Maybe a Phoenix event. Absolutely not. I have studied that event over and over and over. And Lisbon is just one city of hundreds that were affected by that earthquake. So uh, <clears throat> I will do a video about that because it is connected. It is connected uh, to other events that are on a timeline, which is very interesting. But it's not the Phoenix holography. It's not the Phoenix timeline at all. Uh, <clears throat> Phoenix is very unique. You have to understand. It involves darkening the sun with a dust veil. We're talking about an object that brings so much dust every time it comes into the inner system that it blocks out the sun and through the light fil filtration, it makes the moon look like red, red blood. Then red sand, red mud, red dust, red rains blanket the earth, sometimes a couple inches thick. We have instances where entire cities were buried in moments. So uh, now remember, to me, all of this is simulated. It's simulated for our instruction. We are we are living within a copy of a real universe, not actual an actual cosmos. But all this simulation is, is for our instruction. Is for us to study, and uh, I know it's a difficult concept for people to to understand. And it's not something I came up I came up with overnight. It's a uh, it took a lot, a lot for me to switch over to this belief that we are living inside a very sophisticated biogram and that nothing here is actually consequential. Very, all our pain, all our discomfort, this entire historical narrative we're living in is all temporal. And as soon as we exit this holography, we're debriefed or we, we, we re-enter the sim cycle until the holography is totally collapsed. What I'm telling you right now may, may only, this whole video might only take up one, one, one fractal of a nanosecond our entire lifetime could be two hours and 15 minutes in a in a cerebral interface holography headset on the outside of, of the smiller room. but when we come in here time is very different we live out the whole life it's the ultimate video game it's it's the experience where we can develop our immortal personalities without any consequences or threat of cross-contamination from this artificial universe back into the real one. But we'll get it off that later.